covering Colorado first at five tonight. Right now, Denver Public Schools and the Teachers Union are trying to hammer out details so teachers don't strike come Monday. We have learned they are sitting down this hour to talk about it. No doubt there will be some challenges for parents and students alike. Now, if this happens, this will be Denver's first teacher strike in 25 years. There are more than 92,000 children in Denver Public Schools, and the school board admits none of them will see school as usual if there's a strike on Monday. Marsha Chitna has been following these negotiations since day one. And Sean, you talk with some parents who are glad to hear these talks are going to go to the last second. Yeah, Dominic, we are here waiting for both sides to once again meet, see if there can be a compromise, and they can make a deal just days before that strike could happen. Of course, as these talks start up here in just a few minutes, we have to watch as both the union and the district prepare for that worst-case scenario on Monday, leaving each parent to decide if they want to send their student to school. We've been in Denver Public Schools for 12 years now. Moms Megan Perkins and Laura Edwards say the uncertainty is concerning for their kids. It's nerve-wracking. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. This type of picket line is what kids may see when they go to class come Monday. School board members have been calming parents' fears and say the district will be ready. We've heard um, a great deal from our parents. They're telling parents their children will be safe. However, parents of younger children will have to find alternatives. If we come to a strike, and one of those is uh, the parents of our uh, early childhood uh, students uh, not being served um, because we won't have the capacity. The district and the union are just $300 apart in starting teacher pay. We're very confident that we can reach an agreement before a strike. Whatever happens, Megan and Laura say they will take the strike day by day. For right now. We're both planning on sending our yeah. children. Now we are waiting for both teams that are looking to try and find a deal as these negotiations continue to walk down that hall and enter the room here. Earlier this week, though, the governor did take uh, action not to intervene, saying that he believes the cost will be $400,000 a day if this strike happens. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to talk to those parents who are trying to help the teachers who will not get paid if this strike happens by having their own crowdfunding effort to look out for those teachers. Live in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First. All right, Sean, thank you. And if there is any break in these talks, you will see it first right here on CBSDenver.com.